The drama between Shinya and Rexellence started after Shinya called out Rexellence's public promotion of Lolicon content, which is highly controversial due to its depiction of fictional prepubescent characters in a sexualized manner. Now, before we dive into this debate of legality versus morality, let's take a look at the official definitions of both Lolicon and pedophilia. The definition of a Lolicon is as follows. A Lolicon refers to an adult male who is sexually attracted to underage and or prepubescent females. Now, I would like to mention that the term Lolicon stems from the term Lolita, which in Japanese culture refers to cuteness, elegance, and modesty and has evolved into the sexual attraction to fictional characters who often possess those traits. The definition of pedophilia is as follows. Sexual perversion in which children are the preferred sexual object, and a psychiatric disorder in which an adult has sexual fantasies about or engages in sexual acts with a prepubescent child. To speak on the legality of things first, I would like to outright say that based on the definition that we just read for these two words, Participating in lolophilia is a crime. Both of these definitions overlap, so much so that the United States government themselves have deemed it illegal to possess any such materials. The United States government says a visual depiction of any kind, including a drawing, cartoon, sculpture, or painting that depicts a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct is illegal. And they also included the clause stating it is not a required element of any offense under this section that the minor depicted actually exists. This was a federal decision made by the Supreme Court of the United States government, the highest level of court that you can possibly have in the United States under Title 18 U.S. Code Section 1466A, which I will be providing this in the description of the video. After defining whether being a lolicon is legal or not, we can speak on the morality behind it. Composed with these issues where it's teetering between illegal and legal, and you question whether the morals behind it are okay, I tend to go by a quote, and it goes like this. A little bit of everything is medication, more of it is food, and too much of it can be poison. If you enjoy Lolita characters or Lolly simply for the aesthetic, vibe, or whatever descriptive word you want to use, then I think that that's okay. The place where I draw the line really is the thought of and even worse the creation of sexualized content involving or surrounding a character that looks like and acts like a child. In my unadulterated opinion, that is disgusting and should never happen. Moving back to the Shinya X Rexcellent drama, some of you may be wondering, What's so wrong about this post in the first place? It doesn't look like he's supporting any type of predatory behavior when it comes to Yohu. And frankly, that's what I thought too, looking at it at first. But as I learned more and dug more up, it became clear that the behavior that Rexellent and his community show was extremely off-putting. Now, as a side note, not everybody in Rexellent's community or that surrounds him is a participant of this or even probably knows about it. For them, they probably just see these emojis or these things and just think nothing of it. Think of it as simply a way that his community tends to communicate. Back to the thing that started this drama, and honestly the first thing I noticed about Rexellent's post, it was his choice in use of two specific emojis, those being the crying emoji and the anger emoji. I learned after doing some research that this started from a Blue Archive artist known as Doron Tabi. Some of you know Blue Archive doesn't have the best track record when it comes to lollies and childlike characters, and Doron Tabi was no exception. They would post several unsettling tweets in regards to quote unquote correcting many of these lollies who had bratty and rebellious behavior, among several other sickening tweets about characters clearly not of age. The Urban Dictionary page surrounding Doron Tabi reads The man himself, he is well known for his explicit tweets about lolly characters in games slash anime. And they include a quote. From one of his tweets that I will not be repeating because it honestly makes me sick to my stomach even thinking about it. The fact that people are openly using this reference to dog whistle to one another and just the fact that they even worship it is just absolutely disgusting to me. But hey, what if Rex didn't know about this? What if this was just something that his community used as slang and he picked up on it using it unknowingly? That's what I started to think next. So I did a little bit more research and I found something that honestly makes me doubt that he doesn't know. In this post made about a month prior, you can see that Rex responds to a user 
understanding the meaning behind what they're saying. He posts an edited photo with Yohu as his profile picture in Wuthering Waves, and the user responds to him saying brat with several anger emojis. Now, in my opinion, this is obviously referencing back to what we read in that Urban Dictionary post about Doron Tabi. To which Rexcellent responds, correction is needed. At this point, I feel like it's inexcusable that Rexcellent has been promoting this type of behavior in community knowing what the meaning behind this is. That's where I'm going to leave the Rex situation for now until more develops, but I want to tackle some of the comments made towards Shenya from users trying to defend the behavior in this repulsive community. For starters, many people have begun attacking Shenya over his no game no life profile picture which frankly I think is just stupid. While yes, there are characters who are lollies and some of those characters do get sexualized, this does not mean that everyone who watches this show is inherently a lollycon and sexualizes these characters. In fact, I would even go so far as to say the same people who sexualize these characters in No Game No Life are likely to be the same people that are defending this behavior from the community mentioned before. No Game No Life is undeniably a show that has participated in the shaping of anime popularity in America. It was watched by hundreds of thousands of people, most of whom are normal people. The next point that this group of people is trying to make is that Shinya is not innocent, bringing up a past event in which Shinya participated in an NSFW reddit called Gone Wild Audio. Gone Wild Audio involves the sharing of erotic audios and scripts between consenting adults. In this post, you can see the user is requesting a roleplay audio depicting several stipulations and kinks. Among them, users are pointing out that there was the involvement of Little Girl and DDLG play. For the non-DGENs, DDLG is an acronym for Daddy Dom Little Girl Play. As this article states, this is the acting out of a fantasy between two adults. This does not involve a minor in any shape or form. The roleplay can range from the female partner acting as a brat to them acting as an infant. While this may seem bad on paper, especially looking at the worst possible case scenario, as long as Shinya didn't participate in the latter, frankly, I think it's none of our business what kinks he plays out and with whom. However, if it comes out that he participated in RP where the woman acted like a baby, then I think he would be a massive hypocrite. I want to add that I am on neither person's side. I am using the evidence presented to me as well as the research I have done myself to make an objective opinion on the situation, which segues me into my next point. I feel like whatever weird quirks or kinks you have, as long as you aren't doing anything illegal, then that's your business. Now, that being said, if you do or like something that is weird, please just keep it to yourself or share it privately amongst people you choose to. The public does not need to be exposed to everything that you enjoy. Regardless of if there's a target on my back or not, I hope that this clears things up for people who don't know what's going on and shed some light on the situation to everyone, including those people who may not think that they are doing something harmful by defending these types of people. Most of them are horrible humans and promoting something terrible under the guise of something that a lot of people enjoy. If more information comes out, I'll make a follow-up video, but till then, I'm kind of over this disgusting drama. I'll see y'all next time.